All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I don't have any suggestions in my head. I am just going to write in my man KTO, the fantastic football related channel. Um, I've enjoyed every single one of his videos that I've watched in the past. So let's go to his page and see what's on offer. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Uh. I think I've seen probably like two or three so far. 250,000... Oh, he's just put up a video. The game the NFL wants you to forget. See, look at these, man, look at this page. How can you not subscribe? Seriously. How can you not subscribe? Meet the series. This is what I like. Meet the most massive quarterback in NFL history. <laughs> Meet the NFL's biggest one-game wonder. Meet the man who played with a broken leg. I mean, this is just great. All right, 325-pound fucking quarterback. Let's watch this shit. This is, uh, this is intriguing. Jared Lorenzen, a.k.a. the hefty lefty, has become infamous, infamous, as the largest quarterback to play in the NFL. He was pushing 300 pounds his entire career. Oh my God. Let's get into this. I don't quite know if this- Roseman is someone they've looked at apparently, Tyler Thigpen, but somebody raised their hand on Twitter and tweeted out a photograph of himself as a North Kentucky river monster in lime green saying, I look good in green. And he's also played in the New York uh, football market with the Giants. You're about to witness the man who makes Big Ben look small. <laughs> you fucking joking? Oh, go! So in my video about David Tyree, here he is jogging off the field after that amazing catch. Well, the first person he runs into is the backup quarterback. That man was Jared Lorenzen, AKA the hefty lefty. Fuck, he lost a few pounds. This dude is literally the Jackie Moon of indoor football. I'll explain that later. Jared Lorenzen played college ball at the University of Kentucky. He was actually the predecessor to the former number one overall pick, Tim Couch. When did he put on all the weight? Year, he weighed in at 308 pounds before the season, and the coach wouldn't allow him to play until he was under 268 pounds. He eventually slimmed down, and four years later, he would go on to break a bunch of school passing records, but it wasn't Fuck! drafted. He <laughs> didn't sign as an undrafted free agent for the New York Giants. <coughs> when he signed, he was a big dude. He doesn't look six foot four, two eighty five. You don't see too many quarterbacks weighing in at that size. I mean, Jamarcus Russell was only two sixty. Well, his career in the NFL didn't amount to much. He does have a Super Bowl ring, but as far as his playing time in his NFL career. Go! It reminds me of Larry Allen. After the Giants won the Super Bowl, they ended up cutting the. Hang on, so he's got he's got number thirteen for the Giants. Who has number thirteen now? I wonder. Well, I think it might be OBJ. Renzen. The biggest problem was he couldn't keep his weight under control. Everybody knows Coach Coughlin. He's kind of stickler about some certain things. So I got a funny story. Finally, we get our food. At the end of the day, I get, we get ourselves some big old chicken breasts, fried chicken, mashed potatoes. And they got them in bags for us. Well, I pick up my bag and I'm walking back out the locker room and coach happened to be walking by the same time I was. Grabbed my bag, looked at me, laughed, told me I wasn't allowed to have it. I was too big. Tom Coughlin, the Giants' coach, had weight limits for every player. The fine would be $400 a day for every pound they went over. Lorenzen's limit was 292. Weigh-ins were on Friday, so Lorenzen wouldn't eat on Thursday. He would spit in a bottle all day to get rid of water weight. And on Friday morning, he would put on five shirts and a hoodie, plus two pairs of shorts and two pairs of sweatpants. He would then bake in a sauna and basically kill himself on an elliptical machine. And he would barely make weight. After the Giants cut him, the Colts looked to give him a chance. But when he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at 303 pounds. Cam Newton weighs about 50 pounds lighter than that. And the average NFL alignment weighs only 10 pounds heavier than he did at the time. Well, he never played for the Colts, so his NFL career was over. But this is where the story really gets interesting. It's Here gonna, is where Jared the Rennes- It's gonna be hard to, take, to, to be taken down though. It's not gonna be easy to get a sack on him, is it? Relates to Jackie Moon. 
Even if you don't know who that is, it's still pretty funny. In 2011, the Ultimate Indoor Football League was trying to make a name for itself. So the dude became a GM of the Northern Kentucky River Monsters. And while he was putting together his team, he was having a hard time finding a quarterback. <laughs> well, the GM of the River Monsters would also be suiting up as the team's quarterback. 14 games and 81 touchdowns later, he was named the league MVP. And shortly after this dominant season, he was named commissioner of the league. Wow. Imagine <laughs> Roger Goodell, Jerry Jones, Matt Ryan hybrid. I mean, it is only a semi-pro league, but it's still pretty crazy. Yeah, Jersey. Honestly, that would be a pretty sweet gig. To be honest, the Pillsbury Throwboy could move. He was pretty nimble, but he got huge at his NFL <laughs> career. He was listed on the team's roster Fuck, at 320 he's big pounds. Dead. Yet, every single report I read online said he weighed a lot more than that. He apparently hadn't stepped on a scale since he was in the NFL a few years ago. Oh, fucking no. Sadly, later on, Timber! Lefty's career would abruptly end after suffering an injury. But his legend lives on as the heaviest quarterback to ever play in the NFL. When he played for the Giants and they played in a stadium he'd never been to, he would take a ball in warm-ups and fire it into the upper deck. He hoped somebody up there would remember him. <laughs> He's a college football hall of famer for his accolades at Kentucky, and after going viral for his highlights for the River Monsters, he will definitely be remembered. Oh yeah, he will be now, now that you've made this video. A million people have seen it. Ew! <laughs> the one-hander! Mate! That was fantastic. All right, so that was that. I think in the next video, we're gonna do kickers are truly one of a kind because of the fact that I am very, very interested in becoming a kicker and playing the game of football as a kicker slash dynamic. <laughs> kicker slash running back. Has anyone ever been a kicker and a running back on an NFL team? or on a college team. You guys let me know. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hit the like button if you have. If you want to subscribe, please do. There's plenty more content to come. And in the meantime, I'll let you guys go. Have a great day. I'll see you back here to watch some kickers who are truly one of a kind.